Hey kids, welcome to uh, Unit 5, Lesson 6, Images in the Theater, Exercise Number 3. We have another Choose Your Own Adventure. The answer to all four of these are exactly the same. It just really depends on what color you want to set to zero. I'm going to go ahead and set blue to zero. Let's go ahead and jump into this code and see what we have to do. In image plus Java, we're gonna write the method zero blue that sets the blue value of each pixel to zero. The set blue method in the pixel class has a parameter value that sets the blue value to the value specified. And then in my theater, we're gonna call the zero blue method on the image and then draw the image on the screen. And then we should get something like this. Pretty neat, this is a lot like the filters you see on the gram, TikTok, and any other social media you might use. It's really helpful to see the worksheet to complete this. So let's take a look at the worksheet that goes with this lesson. And what we're gonna be doing is creating an algorithm to create a filter to change the RGB values in our image. And we've talked about in previous exercises how an image is really a 2D array. Each X and Y coordinate has an RGB or red, green, blue value associated with it. Those values go from zero to 255, zero being black, 255 being white. Closer we get to 255, lighter the image, closer to zero, darker. So by messing with those RGBs, we can get all the colors in the rainbow. And they have a great visualization here of what we're gonna be trying to do. And this is the, zero red method, but it is exactly the same for everything else. Our pixels start off like this. So our red might be 220, green 20, blue 60. And as we go through the array, we're gonna change that individual pixel 220 to zero. That just means every red we hit along our 2D array, we're gonna make it equal to zero. Here's the same thing with green, as you can tell. They're just taking whatever the green value is, setting it to zero. And we have an example, same thing with blue. And this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be taking it from 60 to 26, 34, down to zero, zero, zero. And if we wanna do the last one where you just wanna remove a color, then we're gonna take two of the options of the three and take that to zero. So for example, if we just wanna keep red, we would set green and blue to zero. So you can see all of the answers are gonna be pretty similar. Let's write a little pseudo code that'll help us along. And what I wanna do is I wanna go through each row in each pixel and whatever the current pixel is within those pixel array at the row and column, I just wanna set it to zero, that's it. So I'm gonna need a for each row in pixels for my outer loop, for each column in pixels, that's gonna be my inner loop. We're gonna take the current pixel and that's gonna be equal to the pixels array and that's gonna be at whatever row and column we're at. We can spell current right there. Once we identify what the current pixel is, we can just say, hey, current pixel, your now set blue is gonna be set to zero. That's it. Code isn't much harder than that. And again, if you look at Instagram, Snapchat, all the filters, this is essentially what they're doing. Pretty amazing, huh? Let's head back to code.org and write this code out. Back here, we have to write our zero blue method. That's going to be public void and zero blue. Some curly cues. This is going to be our end of class. This is our end of method. Now inside here, we wanna do our nested for loop to look through our 2D array, just like our pseudocode. So for some curly cues, this is our outer for, 
and we're going to look through the rows because it's a row major traversal. So row is going to be equal to zero as long as row is less than. And what array do we want to look through? Well, our array up here is pixels. We want to go through the pixels array. So pixels dot length as long as we're under that array, we're going to go through the array. Now we need our inner loop. Make this inner four. And this time we're going to look through the column. So in column equals zero, as long as the columns is less than our pixels, but not just our pixels. We want to not go through the array. We want to go through an individual row. So we'll go through row zero length. Then we want to keep progressing through our column array. As we're progressing through, we want to set a variable to store whatever the current pixel is. We're going to use the data type pixel because that's our 2D array. We'll call this current pixel. And that's going to be equal to the pixels array. And we just want to know what row and what column are we at? Once we know, we're going to say, hey, current pixel, we want to set your blue to zero. So all this is doing is looking through the 2D array that we created from above. At each individual pixel, it's accessing the RGB values via the set blue, set green, set red methods. And we're saying, hey, find the blue color and just set that value to zero. We're not done yet. Let's clean up our code a little. We still have to head over to my theater, call this method. Let's go to my theater. First thing we have to do is call our method, my image, and we're going to call the zero blue method we just wrote. And then we're going to call to draw our image, paste it in here, clean up our code a little. Now we're calling our zero blue method, which should go through our laptop picture. And every time it gets on a pixel, it's going to access that set blue method, which is going to set the blue value to zero. So our image should pop up normal. Then it should pop up green. Let's see if we're right, kids. Looks like our code's working pretty good. Key takeaway from this lesson is understanding how we can access and manipulate individual pixels. Our get pixels method created an array to store all of the values of the individual pixels in our image. Once we got those values, we created a method to go through that. And then using the set blue, set green, set red methods, we could change those red, green, blue values. And this one, we set the blue to zero. I could easily change this set blue to set green or set red to zero, that easy. If I just wanted one image color, then I would set two colors to zero, keep one normal. Hopefully this video helped you understand images in the theater a little better. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.